amino that is called the hilum of the kidney. Okay? Well, three structures must go in. All right? So, if you have an artery and a vein, and then you have a third structure, must have. That's what we call the hilum of any organ. Here is the hilum of the kidney. All right? So, we're going to inspect those three structures. Okay? In the capsule of the kidney, don't worry about it. Because the very important fact, you know, that the kidney is retroperitoneal. Okay? It is behind the peritoneum. Okay? Remember, all the organs of the body were located behind the peritoneum. But they did migrate. They took a trip. Some of them went up in the thorax. Some of them went forward. Okay? And some of them went all the way down to the pelvis. All right? Mm -hmm. But they were all located next to the kidneys. So when they traveled from those areas, they took a sleeve of tissue with them. Okay? This is what we call the visceral peritoneum. Until they hit the wall of the body, and they became the other side of the tube, which is the parietal peritoneum. Okay? But when they migrated, they took a sleeve that has the artery and the vein and everything that they need for their nutrition. Okay? And this is called the mesentery. Nobody's missing. I love it. And this is the mesentery. Okay? Now, I know you're going to ask what the mesentery is. I'm not going to show it to you. What's the mesentery? All right. <laughs> Too late now. And that, remember, the only one that doesn't go anywhere is what? The kidney. Okay? That is why if you want to have access to the kidneys, okay, for any surgery, you go from here. All right? Because you go direct. You go behind the peritoneum. Dangerous, obviously, of getting through the peritoneum is you can cause a peritonitis and infection and that kind of stuff, okay? Unless you really have to, okay? Because the kidney is all the way deep. When you have the patient here, okay, it's like almost a foot deep or two feet deep, okay? So you have to go through all the peritoneal structures, push them to the side. You need a small area. So a little anatomy and critical thinking will tell you you can go here immediately and have access in two minutes okay you can do transplantation you can do uh take out uh, stones anything that is bad with the kidney all right so that's the axis of the kidney and the most important fact is that it is retro peritoneum behind l peritoneum all right now this is the hilum of the kidney as mentioned okay and it has the three famous structures okay so when you looky looky and you have your Basic knowledge, come closer, come closer, don't be shy, okay? Uh, they have the three basic structures, okay? You can see here and try to decide which one is which, okay? You see a flat one, you see the flat baby here? Yes? yes? Okay? Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. And you see two openings here. Now, because this is a partly injected kidney, Okay, if you go open the kidney from here and you connect, this is the pelvis of the kidney. Okay, and you go from here, you're gonna come out from here, this is the ureter. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, and these have to be the arteries and the veins, all right? But if one maintains its shape, that's an artery. If one is squishy, that's the vein. Got it? So you have the renal artery, there's another one, the renal vein right there and the now what happened to that guy here the ureter of sorry the kidney okay all right ureter is very close to the artery because it has a milking action okay peristalsis is in there has a muscle all right as soon as the urine hits the end of the pelvis the beginning of the ureter Boom, 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 boom. Starts pushing the urine all the way down to the urinary bladder, okay? Against gravity, with gravity, it doesn't really matter, okay? It's a muscle contraction, all right? Here is the pelvis of the kidney, okay? And here are different flavors, right? Okay? This whole thingy is the pelvis of the kidney. And this part here is the cortex. Cortex. Cortex, 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 all this is cortex. And 
The inside is the medulla, but we don't use this that much, that, the word that much, okay, in the kidney. All right? It's everything else. Whenever there's a cortex, there's a medulla. All right? Why is that one so much darker? Hmm? Patience is a virtue. Oh. Okay? Now, these here are what we call the renal pyramids. Okay? You have a base and a tip. A base and a tip. And a base and a tip. And a base and a tip. Okay? Base, tip. Okay? That's the renal pyramid. And if you look closer under the microscope, if you want, okay, you will see that these are straight lines here. Okay? Straight lines. Straight lines. Why? Because these are either the lobes of Henle ascending and descending, okay, or the collecting tubules. All right? Where are the renal corpuscles located here? All this is renal corpuscles, microscopic. Renal corpuscles, okay, distal complete tubule, proximal complete tubule. Everything is that cortex here, okay? And the medulla has just the extensions, the tubes that are straight, okay? And as you can see, the pyramid here is open to a cup. See that cup here? See this cup here? Yeah. Yes? This is the minor calyx, okay? So when the urine collects from the collecting tubules, okay, is the tip of the pyramid, and it opens up and the cup to be collected, okay? This is the uh, minor calyx, okay? Now, when you connect these two together, here's one, 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 one. When you connect these together, in your mind, you have a major calyx, okay? See so these three together make a major calyx, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. And this makes a small one. See, this here is a major calyx. You got the idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's another major calyx. All right, you can have between two and three major calyces, but you have hundreds of these. Now remember, the kidney when you close it, okay, and here's the pelvis. It looks like this. It's not two dimensions. It's not when you cut it and you have a couple of uh, calyces. No, it's like that. Okay, it's like a flower, and the flower opens up in a cup, and you have the pyramids here. It's all around. All right. Mm -hmm. So whenever you cut anywhere. You're gonna find this concoction here, not. Here. But here is to see all the other structures again. Okay, you see this is a major calyx. See how big this is, but it's made of two minor calyces. Okay, here's the calyx made of two calyces. Okay, they're all different. So whenever you see a cup shape that looks like a calyx, okay, is made of several little ones. That's the major calyx. This is how they they arrange anatomically. It's not me. And then here, the urine comes from the minor calyces, okay? And it opens up into that white area, which is the renal pelvis, okay? And as you can see here, the renal pelvis ends into the ureter, okay? So if you continue your trip here, okay? This should come out, okay? This is the vein. So this should come out to make up the uh, renal the ureter, not the renal, the, the ureter, okay? Again, it's one of these. If it continues here, that was easy to make, but I guess from the preservation process, it's not, it has something in there, okay? Okay, I made up my own ureter. That's <laughs> 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 here. Okay, all right. Well, that's gonna be on your test. All right, have fun. Okay, so again, okay, this is, this was how it's supposed to be, okay? So technically, this is the renal pelvis. You see how humongous this mm -hmm. is? Okay. Pelvis, the name pelvis means what? What's a pelvis? It's a pore. It's a sink. 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 Where all the plumbing is. Okay. It collects the water, and then you have an opening at the end. Psh, sticks to it. Okay. And you can see it looks like a sink. Okay. Look like a funnel. Okay. And it has an opening at the end, which is a ureter. Okay. And it goes all the way to the urinary bladder, one from each That's side. like the sink drain. Yes. So this is the renal pyramid, okay? And what, the smell is bad? Mm -hmm. Come on. My eyes hurt. No, there is no smell here. It's a different solution. Now, this is the, uh, the there's a reason for that. Uh, the pyramid here, this is the base. <laughs> this is the tip. This is the base, the tip, the base, and the tip, okay? These are the renal pyramids. What's in between is the renal columns, okay? You see between the pyramids? Mm -hmm. You have the renal column, all right? 
but this part is the cortex and the remainder is the medulla and as mentioned we talk about the structures in the medulla but we don't say medulla medulla has hundreds of structures there one of hundred a couple of, when right? you have kidney stone where does it go it depends okay sometimes you have a, a, a stone that fills all this area and goes to the calyces okay and this is called the staghorn kidney uh, stone mm -hmm. looks like the horns of a stag. all right mm -hmm. and sometimes it usually but it's a good question it goes into where there are narrowing of the kidney because you're slow uh, of the of the pathway of urine because you're slowing down the urine mm -hmm. so in the king, same concept of blood okay if it has difficulty moving from one area, to, it has to flow immediately, right away. Yeah. Okay? But if it stops anywhere, you give uh, a chance or the opportunity to salts to crystallize and deposit there. This is what makes up the kidney. If you have a predisposition, obviously, genetically or what have you. Or if you don't drink a lot of water, okay? Yeah, I had one. It's horrible. Yeah. So you, have, you, you tend to have some crystallization there, and this is stone. And it keeps adding more and more and more and more until you uh, see how to dissolve it, either surgically or by waves or uh, by or drinking water, or what have you. The best, the best, uh, the, don't, don't take this from me, okay? Just listen to it and forget about it. <laughs> the best way to get rid of those stones is beer, okay? Oh, I'm good then. You didn't hear it from me, okay? You didn't hear it from me. Hmm? Why? It's a very strong diuretic. Okay? It relaxes the, the, the ureter and it pushes everything very fast. That makes okay? sense. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, but don't don't take it from me. Don't cran use it. What about cranberry juice? Or is okay. that just a cranberry juice is, is like an antibiotic mainly. Okay. It does give you some but some help, mean. but it's not really for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the best the best one actually that is not alcoholic, okay? that you don't have it here, okay, is sugar cane juice. That no. one will clean up your oh, system no. immediately. What about like... The urinary system, that is. What about like... Dr. Yusuf, we have 30 no. minutes. Chillax. Sorry. You probably got it Got it in in, uh, in Iraq. You didn't drink uh, juice over there, sugar cane juice? No. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. It Obviously, this is where sugar right. comes from. Does it clean you out everywhere or just your urine? No, just your urine. It's oh. urine. It's sugar. Lots of sugar. Okay? And the more sugar you drink, the more the urine you will get. This is pure sugar. This is what they make the sugar from, the table sugar from. What from about sugar. like so, like like Coke and Diet Coke and stuff? But that's, that's like... This is horrible. This is horrible. What are, what what are, are these? The Dr. Dr. Hmm? What are these? These? Yes. These are the column between... These? Renal column. But these right. little spaces are the renal column. Yeah, no, 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 there are no spaces here. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. The spaces go deeper. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's another part and another calyx is opening up. Is Remember, it, this is like is like so. Mm -hmm. So it goes like this and it goes like that. It goes everywhere. It's like a globe. Oh, uh, okay. But that globe is a little flattened. Okay. Yeah. That's all the question. Capish? Yep. That's our protocol. Okay. Pyramid. Pyramids like. Pyramid. Nipples. Because hmm? then they're like yes. three dimensions. Yes, it's called oh, the renal, yes. renal, exactly, renal papilla. Okay? okay. And papilla okay. means nipple. That's okay? what I was trying to picture. Yeah, places. but it's not the nipples that you know. Okay? It's a different nipple. <laughs> <laughs> not the one you have. All right? <laughs> okay. Now, by the way, you know that uh, male nipples are useless, yes? Just to let you know. This is an egg. Oh, oh that means I was like, so you think you think you think male nipples are useful? No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not involved. All right. Exactly, not involved. Don't go below the belt or above the belt. Okay. So now we know the. Any questions about the kidney? Get ready with your piglets.